Edis Gurel with us, who just finished the last game of the Youth Olympiad. Please tell us your experience here in Eindhoven. I think it was such a nice tournament and I really like Eindhoven. Like we went, we had a rest day for one, like it was the one game day and we went to some places I liked really much. Uh, tell us a little bit about your team, uh, because uh, Turkey is, is the team that we all expected so much. As, uh, uh, team Turkey won the previous Olympiad and you guys are very strong at this event. Uh, tell us how you are spending the time, preparation and then how you are celebrating the victory after the game. Uh, like We have a nice team spirit. Everybody is my friend and we're chatting after the game. We're celebrating quite well. We talk with each other, like we share our mistakes. Why did you do this? And so on. I think it's going quite well and I really like this team. Everybody is giving his best, I think. And what about your uh, personal performance here? You got seven points, right, after nine. Are you happy? Are you satisfied? I think it's okay. I generally played well, although I blundered some things in games. I can get careless sometimes, but I think I played well generally question that I want to ask is about the World Cup because there was a day when your name, your game was everywhere and it was recognized as the best uh, game of a day. Can you please tell us about your experience? Was it your first World Cup? Is it something special event? Yeah, it was my first World Cup and it was really special for me. Like I was shaking in first game and then after I won I quite relaxed but I don't think it went really well. Right. Do you think that you might need some kind of strategy in this knockout system tournaments to have? Uh, or it's just about the experience and by the years you will be more confident? Yeah, I think I need to experience some more. This was my first World Cup, as I said, so I need to just go there like second time, third time. I hope I'll pass some rounds. And what about this game? Were, were you also be very happy that it was recognized as one of the one of the best game? And please tell us a little bit if you can recall uh, the, the the game that you played there. Yeah, in World Cup, I think first game was quite nice. He blundered bishop h7, and there was some tricks. I had to calculate a bit, but I think it was really fine. And that game made me famous somehow. I mean, I just played a normal game. <laughs> You got the wild card for the FIDE Grand Suisse. This is a huge tournament. Congratulations, first of all. And how do you feel about this? Yeah, this is really exciting for me. I've been waiting for this, and I thank FIDE really much for inviting me. And also, I thank Özgür Soğukoğlu, who really helps me and always supports me in any kind of situation. Uh, do you think you're going to have some special preparation for this tournament uh, to, to get ready? Yeah, I think I'll have some special preparation since it's a really serious tournament and I want to achieve some things. Uh, besides chess, our viewers are so curious about chess players' daily life, what they like, what are their hobby. So how your normal day looks like, uh, if not a chess tournament, how it actually goes? Okay, in weekdays I go to school and then I come back, I do my homework and then I play table tennis a bit. I'm playing quite bad, but I'm trying to improve. <laughs> Is table tennis your favorite sport uh, rather than chess? Yeah, it is. Uh, and uh, tell us a little bit about how you spend your vacations and uh, day offs. Uh, um, how, what can make you relax from chess and not to think about chess? Okay, I mean, I generally play chess to relax from chess, but <laughs> like playing on online platforms is quite fun for me. Mm -hmm. I don't like visiting places too much. Thank you so much and best of your luck. Thanks.